Okay guys and girls, hope you're well. I just wanted to do a quick short video on pipe, brake pipe flooring tools. Um, now, first of all, there's two main types that you do see for sale on the likes of eBay and online. First one is the likes of this um, from Sealy, for example. I bought this a while back, I think it was about 15 quid or something like that. Um, did it consist of everything you need to flow various size brake pipes, most commonly 3 16 which is actually missing in mine because it's snapped, which says a lot. Um, but obviously, they go up to um, 7 18 um, whatever they are. Do they work? Yes, they do work. They just don't work very well, to be honest. The flares are never straight. It takes quite a few attempts to get a good one. And to be honest, they're just not good enough. Um, you, when, you, when you're working with brakes to, uh, for your car, it's got to be absolutely spot on or not at all for me. Um, and these things, they, they, you know, they, they just don't cut the mustard. Um, I'm sure you can buy much more expensive ones, but in terms of these you see on eBay, which I'm sure you've, uh, you've been looking at don't buy them they're absolute rubbish uh, simple as that really um, so yeah that's that one now the second type which you will have seen is like this now the benefits to using one of these ones as opposed to that one is you can actually flare your brake lines whilst they're actually on the car you don't need to do them on the bench um, secondly you know for such a small bit of kit, um, the brilliant, in a word, brilliant. The perfect flares every time. I'm sure there are a couple of uh, options you can buy. I've seen ones with little slim handles, more commonly. This one's got a more chunky handle. I paid about 30 quid for this, but you know, it's it's worth every penny because the flares are absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really good. So next I'm just going to show you exactly how they work. I've got a little piece of copper brake pipe here. So first of all you've got this bolt in the end which is basically just a stop. So when you put your pipe in it butts straight up to that so you know, so you know you've got it all the way in. It isn't absolutely necessary because instead of using this you can actually just use this inspection hole here and this line so you've got it in far enough now normally I don't use that bolt I just use that inspection line but just for the purpose of this video to make it a little bit easy for you I put that in now you next need to loosen these now what I'm gonna do again just for the purpose of this video is I'm gonna take these all the way out only so you can see exactly what's inside because I've seen lots of videos on these on eBay but I've not seen anyone actually undo one to show you exactly how it works um, it's pre pretty much um, a standard kind of die you can see where your copper pipe goes in and it gets clamped inside then your die that you insert gets screwed in and it basically forces the flow into the end of the pipe and it really really is a simple but fantastic bit of kit so yeah put this back together quickly put those bolts back in like so now this is this particular one is only compatible for 3 16 brake pipe um, which is the most common size of brake pipe and that is obviously what we're using today so yeah you're gonna back these nuts off just enough so you can get your brake pipe inside like so and we're going to push that all the way up to that stop we've got in the end here. And we're going to tighten these down. Just finger tight for now. And then I think these are a 10mm. Yeah. Just tighten that up. 
they don't need to be mega tight just until they they stop really without you swinging on them okay now you've got two different kind of flares as you know whether you're doing a, a male or a female um, end or whether you're fitting a male or female union rather the one with the uh, the dimple sticking out that was for your female unions and the one where it inverts goes in that is for your male type of fittings so next bit we're just going to unscrew this bolt and because I'm going to be doing a male union fitting I'm going to stick this end in screw it in by hand till it stops and this is actually 17 millimeters stick span over the end start tightening it down you feel a little bit of resistance but not a massive amount just tighten that down until it stops again without really swinging on it and nice and easy back that off loosen your 10 millimeter bolts now obviously because now you've got a flare on the end you need to back it out a lot more than it was before because you need to be able to pull it out and there you go one perfect flared brake pipe and for those of you who are wondering is this tool strong enough to do steel brake pipe then uh, this is the answer to your question i replaced this union on this steel brake pipe and it flared it up to absolute perfection the hole in the top is perfectly central and you just could not achieve this um with, with the other tool it just simply wouldn't have been strong enough to do it so yeah perfect flare even on steel brake pipes now if you was doing a double flare then you need to insert do the whole process again before you take the pipe out though you need to do the whole process again take the uh, the die out spin it round and reinsert it to do a double flare now again I think maybe for the purpose of this video <laughs> we'll just do that now Tighten that down as quickly as possible. Now obviously if you know you're doing a double flow, you're not going to take it out first. I just wanted to show you the single flow. Tighten that back up. Like so. Okay, now we're going to do the double flow. So we've just taken this out for single flare, we're going to spin it round screw it back in again tighten it down till it stops nothing excessive pack it off undo your nuts or your bolts rather D -d 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 -d. okay and there you have a nice neat straight double flare now if you try to do this with that tool the head of your flare is always cockhead it's never really straight you can get it straight but it, it you know it, it takes a few attempts but by that time you've, you've already cocked up your uh, your brake line it's probably not going to be long enough um, so yeah 
the best ones you can invest your money in they are a little bit more expensive but get one of these handheld ones I'll try and put the link in the description so out of the two if you are contemplating on which one to buy it really is a no-brainer leave these ones alone they're absolute rubbish buy one of these ones they're fantastic this one is by Blackline but there are some non-branded ones on eBay for the same price to accompany these you're going to need some pipe bending tools as well the best one you can buy is probably a nice simple one just like this between 7 and 11 quid brilliant they really really are, really are good these are obviously great as well but you're limited to the uh, the angle you can achieve with those if you've got a really tight um, angle um, then you're going to need something more like this you can see the difference how tight you can uh, you can go with one of these in comparison to one of these so yeah I'm waffling now so yeah there you go brake pipe flowing tools leave those buy one of these and you won't be disappointed perfect flares every time so they okay guys so there you go those are the two of the most commonly seen brake pipe flowing tools on the market certainly in a budget range um, so I hope this video has helped you one thing I would like to say is this style of brake pipe flowing tool I'm not saying the design is absolutely hopeless I'm sure you can spend a lot more money in this design and it will works a lot better than this one but the majority of people out there you will be looking at the more budget ones um, so I hope this video has helped you that style is rubbish the other style works absolutely superb just to summarize and you've got the added benefit of the fact you can use it on your car as well which is an absolute bonus needless to say so yeah last of all i would just like to wish everybody health wise and financially the very best of luck during the uh, current uncertain times there are still a few videos to make so stay tuned like subscribe and i shall see you on the next episode cheers guys thank you very much all the best